Hello and welcome to Jim's EV Adventures. Today we're going to do a very short unboxing and testing video for the NAX to CCS1 adapter extension cable from EV Base. Let's get right into it. Hello and welcome to Jim's EV Adventures. I have a little surprise here today. EV Base liked the uh, video that I did on their single uh, CCS to J3400 adapter, so they sent me this. I did not pay for it, full disclosure. They sent me this to do a review on, so we're going to unbox it. The box itself, with everything in it, weighs 13.8 pounds. 13.8 pounds, almost 14 pounds. So let's open it up and see what we got inside. Okay. What we have here is an EV base J3400. Two CCS extension cable. What this means now is I should be able to extend the Tesla adapter far enough that I don't take up but one, one parking slot. This is zero AWG. So this is about as big as you can make it. It's good up to 105 degrees Celsius, 1000 volts. And we'll see when we go out to test this. Again, J3400 to CCS. Let me go weigh this thing and see how much it actually weighs. Okay guys, here's what I've done. I've weighed this unit. It weighs 11.8 pounds, almost 12 pounds. Okay guys. This is the letter from EV Base. Thank you for your support of EV Base. I believe you have received the goods you selected. If you have any questions about the product or after sales, you can contact me anytime. So I do have a contact there. I'm going to give them a contact because I have some questions. Because this right here is the only safety instructions they have at all for this charger. And I can already see a huge, huge problem. This end is going to connect to my car. And you see how I'm able to lift this up. But it's also going to be safely connected to my car because my car is going to lock this in place where I can't move this up or down while the charge is taking place. However, on this end, there is no such electronic safety mechanism. I don't see any anything in there other than the fact that this will detent and connect to the NAX adapter. But even while it's charging, I will be able to push this down and unplug this. That is an arc hazard. When you're talking 300, 400 plus volts and an equal number of amps, that arcing hazard is significant. It can kill you. That is why this end should be locked out to the point where you cannot disconnect it while the charge is active. That being said, I'm still going to test it. Okay, we have this thing plugged in. And it is working, it is working okay this morning. Charging has taken place. I am pulling in 50 kilowatts and Okay guys, I've uh, been charging for about 12 minutes, started at uh, 5.48, it's now 6 a.m., still pulling in 46 kilowatts. I want to stress this before you get out of your car, 
to disconnect this cable, make sure you have stopped the charging and unlocked the car. See, now I've stopped my charging. I'm pulling two kilowatts back off the battery. So the first thing that you do is unplug from here. That ensures that communication has stopped. I'm gonna put the phone down. Once you have disconnected this unit from the car, then feel free to disconnect here. And this will conclude my test of this unit. Now that the charging is over and everything is done, let's look at the unit itself. This is a very heavy duty charging handle and it is very robust. It does have an interlock on it that locks into your car when the charging starts. You can't press this button and disconnect it while you're charging. You have to stop the charge with the app or with your car or with the button that's on your car. That's okay. Now let's talk about the cable itself. This is a very heavy duty cable. Very heavy. This entire unit weighs 12 pounds. Actually more than 12 pounds. But the problem that I have with this overall charger is right here on the NAX end. This can be disconnected from the charging handle while you're charging. And that is an arc hazard. You're talking 1,000 volts, up to 1,000 volts of electricity. And anything over 400 volts can arc easily. So this is the dangerous end of the adapter. And I can only recommend its use in very limited cases and only by somebody who's qualified and understands the risks of not having an interlock on this particular end of the adapter. It is not UL rated, it is not CTL rated, it is not safety rated in any way, shape, or form. But it is well built, I will give them that. But I can't recommend it for everyday use for everyone. Not only is it very robust and heavy, my wife can't handle this unit. And that's who's gonna need it the most. That's gonna wrap it up for today. I'd like to thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you out there or somewhere along the route from point A to point B. So take it easy, everybody, and I'll see you all real soon. Thanks.